Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Jimmy Neutron games for the GameCube and PS2. Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius is a horrible game I don't recommend anyone to experience. The whole game is a 6 level fetch quest. There are 6 levels and in each you have some fetch quests to do. That could be ok if the game mechanics weren't so atrocious. And aside of the game mechanics, the game looks horrible too. Also there is barely any storytelling, it's just gameplay. Pure, utter gameplay. It, it's horrible. The controls are stiff and clunky and since the game is a platformer, having the main element crap makes the whole game crap. And if you've seen the show, Jimmy Neutron always has some gadgets or invents stuff. Well here he has a bat. Not a special bat that does special stuff, it's just a bat and it looks stupid on him. Also, with the clunky controls, having a bat isn't fun. Ok, you get a shrink ray and a ray that inflates enemies, that expire quickly, you can't use them indefinitely. And you can use Goddard as a scooter or as a pogo stick, but none of this feels fun to use. Also you get some rare, horrible cutscenes. They are horrific. What is this? an upscaled PS1 game. Also the camera is horrible too, you can't control it. And the automatic camera is a nightmare, you can't see ledges in front of you, nor enemies, you just do leaps of faith. And I don't understand why they couldn't program a controllable camera. The GameCube and the PS2 both have analog sticks, two of them, why couldn't they just program a controllable camera? And if you run out of lives, you have to start the level from the beginning. This game is torture, don't play it unless you love crappy frustrating games. You can see that the developers were lazy. Even the title screen is just a picture. Nothing is animated, not even the press start button. It's almost like they made the game horrible on purpose. Or the game feels like a failed school project. Jimmy Neutron Jet Fusion, on paper, the game sounds better, but when you get to play the game, it's not. I mean, you get free room in one of the levels. Sounds better, but it isn't. Since the world is pretty much empty, there isn't anything to do. Even when doing the missions, you only occasionally attack an enemy. The devs try to spice things up with different game mechanics by integrated different minigames, problem is the controls are horrendous in each minigame. Also the platforming, the main gameplay element, even if it feels a little better than in the first game, it still remains horrible. And the checkpoint system doesn't help either, checkpoints are too far apart and even if at first it seems better than the first game, the more you progress in the game, the worse it gets. Level designs are worse, mini games are worse, the only real improvement will be the character models. And the gadgets. You get plenty of gadgets to use during gameplay. And they don't have a timer this time. But in rest, the game is horrible. And the more you progress, after you finish the game, people say that it's more horrible than Boy Genius. Even if at first, the game seems more promising than the previous title. This game too is torture, you need sheer dedication to finish it. Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Twonkies changes the game formula and this time the game is finally decent. It has a bit of Luigi's Mansion flavor but it ain't stupid if it works. The experience is enjoyable. Finally the game has cutscenes and the storytelling is nice, it has a nice pace and has Jimmy Neutron specific jokes. The game feels like an interactive Jimmy Neutron episode, it's mission accomplished. In the game, an alien called a Twonky, which Jimmy brought from an asteroid for a school project, has multiplied and now Jimmy has to collect all Twonkies that rampage the city. They grow when they hear music, but Shin's singing is considered anti-music and they shrink when they hear it. So Jimmy blasts anti-music at big Twonkies and then vacuums them when they are small. The vacuum mechanics feel like in Luigi's Mansion, and they feel good. 
and you can finally double jump in the game and spin in the air. The controls are way better than in the other games. Actually, they are good controls, period. The other games aren't good referencing points since they are total crap. The controls are finally good. In the game you also collect objects to make gizmos, which are cosmetic upgrades and materials for inventions. It still sucks that you can't control the camera, but in rest, the game is great. You collect stuff to make inventions, and when you have all items, you get a boss battle. The formula works nicely, and the game isn't frustrating and clunky anymore. It's pretty good actually. Also, the game manages to expand the episodes it's based on, adding more details, while keeping the original tale. The game is hard work, and you can see it. It has some flaws, like the camera, but it's still a decent game and one that makes justice to the franchise, after two atrocious titles. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.